Crafts to fix up your workspace, wherever that might be, today on Hands On. Welcome to a new season of Hands On. I'm your host, Candy Cooper, and we have some exciting changes for this season, from a new set and logo to a whole new attitude about crafting. We want crafting to become a part of your life every day. Surround yourself with things you make and make being creative a part of who you are. Today's show features crafts to fix up your workspace, whether it's the kitchen table or a desk in your room. Make the supplies you use every day. Today we're making a recycled portfolio with monster clips, a desk organizer, a catch-all organizer, and a folded paper frame. So here's what you'll need. We're going to start with a port, uh, manila folder, chenille stems, plastic lacing, scrapbook paper, a pencil, ruler, some wiggly eyes, a little scrap of felt, a large clip, some wire cutters, and then back here we'll need some clothespins, some tacky glue, and some white school glue. You'll also need some scissors. So to start, we'll make the portfolio, and what you're gonna do is just sort of cut this down just a little bit. We'll need our scissors and ruler and pencil for this. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You'll see why in a minute. So you'll wanna take off the front front cover a little bit, and you're just going to draw a line, maybe a couple inches down, doesn't really matter. And then you're going to cut this off. And once you get this cut, we're going to make a flap that folds over for the top part. And this is going to be a great little pocket that can hold all your notes, your drawings, whatever you want to hide in here. And I promise these monster clips we're going to make in a minute will keep it nice and safe. And then the other thing you want to do is cut off maybe this little flap. It doesn't have to be even or perfect. The next thing you're going to do is just start shredding some pieces of scrapbook paper like I have here to cover the front of it. And I've actually got one ready here. And I've cut one piece that just fits on the front side. And we're going to use some white school glue around the edges and this stuff will keep your paper from coming off and if you want you can also use some glue sticks to add the strips of paper I have a couple different ones here Okay, so to add the scraps of paper on the front, you can put some glue on your envelope here, your fold over flap. And I've got a few pieces of paper ready here. And you can just pop those on. And I've got a really extra shredded piece here. And you would just keep going until you covered it. The reason I use shredded paper is so it actually looks like the monsters have been you know, eating it up a bit. And you would just keep tearing scraps of paper like this until it's all covered. And there you go. So let's make some monsters to keep this thing closed. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is grab your clip and cut a little rectangle of paper that sits right on front. And to put this on, you need a paintbrush. You're gonna just put a little bit of your white school glue on the front and paint this all over the front like so and you're just going to squish that down and hold it in place for a minute while the glue sets up and then you're going to trim away whatever you have left. And when I flip this over, I've got one side ready to go. You can actually make two different sides to your monster. 
The next thing you need is some plastic lacing. And I've already cut some small little six inch pieces, but you can um, create these in, or cut these in whatever color you like to create the hair. And all you're gonna do is thread it through the middle ring on your clip and start tying it in knots. And you can come up with all kinds of crazy monster hairstyles. Um, anything goes. I've got a couple where I've done pigtails, but this is my favorite where the hair is just tied and going all over the place. And you can see I've doubled up two different colors here. And what you would do is just keep going until you have an entire head of hair. The other thing you might wanna do is cut a longer piece of plastic lacing, knot it on the front like so, and then start wrapping it around the base. And I've got one ready right here where I've got a full head of hair and a wrapped section uh, right ab below the hair. Last, you might wanna cut yourself some big jagged teeth out of some felt. Your monster can have as many teeth as you want. I've got some right here. And you're gonna use your, actually we'll use the tacky glue for this cause it's a thicker glue and we want this to hold really well. And you're just gonna put some teeth on here, follow it up with a, a little pipe cleaner, orange smile and a wiggly eye. And then you can use that crazy little fella to keep your portfolio closed. So let's take a look at this final portfolio where you can put all your notes and sketches and crazy monster clips.